Today I'd like to do a video on an item that would be a good addition to include with your home preps for your water storage. This is called the Water Bob and it's actually a, a, a large plastic bag that goes inside of your bathtub to store a large amount of water uh, if you know that an impending emergency is going to happen. Uh, for example, if you know that a, a hurricane is approaching your area and you don't have a good water storage already set up in place, just throw this one of these into the, into the bathtub and fill it up with water so then you have a lot of water stored up. So this one, there's a lot of different brands. This one's called the Water Bob, which I really like. It's a, and it, it includes a pump. It's a BPA free, which is good. And it fits into basically any kind of bathtub. So let's do a quick little video featuring the Water Bob. So again, the Water Bob advertises that it keeps water fresh for up to 16 weeks. It's FDA approved materials and BPA free. And then it includes a pump, as you see here in the photo, uh, for dispensing the water. So I think this is a good thing to have. If, however many bathtubs you have, you should have that many water bobs in your home stash. Uh, I have a couple of them and I have a spare one here, so I'm actually gonna use this one uh, for testing purposes because I've never really tested it for any kind of extended period. All right, so I've opened up this one. Let's take a look at the contents. As you see, it's sealed here to let you know that it hasn't been opened. All right, here's what it looks like when you open it up. It looks like it has a, kind of a nozzle area where you're gonna insert the water. Alright, let's put this in the bathtub now. So let's um, take it out really quick. Say it's an emergency situation. We just found out that uh, we're about to lose power, it's about to lose water, and we're going to want to put it in there. This looks like it's the pump right here. So we'll just set that aside. And then we have this little uh, bag area here. It looks like a little nozzle. And then it's basically a, a large plastic bag. So let's put it in here like this. And a bunch of things just popped out. So we're just going to throw it in there in the bathtub like that. All right, so as you saw, a couple caps fell out. Those actually go, there's two uh, openings there on the bag. And then you have this little attachment here, which is actually going to go to the faucet to help guide it into the bag. So let's set that up really quick. We're going to want to go on the end uh, that is closest. It's kind of has the shortest distance to the top. So this is where I'm going to fill it up at. And I'm just going to cover this one up here. This is actually insert siphon pump here, it has it labeled. So everything's real nice and labeled on this. I'm just gonna put, close this here. All right, so we have that there, and then I'll save this cap for the very end. I think it'd be really nice if they were to include some kind of rubber band or something that I could just attach that uh, to the hose so I didn't have to stand here, especially if there's an emergency situation where I need to go real fast. I don't know if I'd want to be standing here like this. I wish I could just wrap something around that. So I might just do that just uh, with a makeshift thing, but it'd be nice if the uh, water bottle included that. Here's what that looks like. So as you can see, it's going here. Connecting it there, the water's filling up. And then over in this particular one here that we have, uh, that's gonna be where the pump is actually used. So what I'd like to do is fill this up, and then we're gonna check back on it in a couple weeks to see if the water uh, tastes any uh, differently being stored in this plastic bag for an extended period of time. So let's say we have a two week emergency where we're needing to use uh, the emergency drink of water from the bathtub. Again, the whole point of having this is that your bathtub has all sorts of soap, scum in it. If you're just to fill it up without a plastic bag, you're going to have a lot of contaminants in your drinking water, which you don't want. So that's the whole point of having the water bob, is that you have kind of a clean slate. So the water is good out of the faucet. It's just everything caked on the bathtub over using it uh, for, you know, your hygiene and everything, uh, your shampoos, soap, bleach, whatever. It's all going to be caked on on the side walls of the bathtub. So that's the whole point of using the water bob. All right, so now what I'd like to do is to quickly test the water conductivity. So that's like anything that's in the water, like particles, metals, iron, uh, things like that that's standard in your standard tap water. We're going to test that now, then we're going to test it a few weeks from now once we let it sit for a while to see if any of the plastics actually leach out of there and maybe we can detect it uh, with the water meter. So we're going to just use a standard cup uh, and then just take a little quick sample of the water meter. All right, let's take our reading. You can see there we have our water conductivity of 71 parts per million. So we're going to taste it again uh, after we let this sit for a while, see if the plastics leach out. All right, so it's been 41 days since we placed the water bob in this bathtub. We've been borrowing it from Tactical Temptress in our spare bathroom. And so it's been untouched, I think, for 41 days now. And uh, 
I'm, I'm noticing that I'm seeing some water on the cracks and on the sides of the bathtub outside of the water bob, and it, it, you think it's gone down a little bit. It okay. has. So that's over, that's, what is that, almost four weeks, uh, five weeks or so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a long time. So let, let's take a closer look now to see uh, how that water's coming out of there, and then we'll also uh, pump out some of it and do another uh, test of the conductivity of the water. So let's get started with that. All right, so I was investigating a little bit and I noticed some water over here, as you can see on the outside. I also lifted it up a little bit to try to see if I could find a leak on it. You'll notice some down there as well. Yeah, so it's, definitely, it's definitely coming out of there. I wasn't really expecting that. Let me lift it up a little bit. You can definitely see that there. I'm not sure, these are the only two openings that it could come out of, and I'm not sure if it came out of either one of those. So that's definitely a little disappointing, huh? Yeah, I'm not sure if there's any punctures in this, or somehow getting out of here. All right, even though we've had a little bit of water come out, let's try using the pump now to just kind of pump out some of the water and we'll retest that conductivity. So again, it's kind of like a, like a straw that you basically attach here and it has the same kind of connector over here. So you're gonna put it in there and then you're gonna just use it as a pump like that and fill up whatever water that we want. So let's do that now. All right, so we have the straw down there in the water. So let's just start pumping some of it up. I definitely feel my hand getting a little wet here too, uh, out of this little pump action here. There you go, there's your water. All right, let's take our water conductivity meter again, we'll turn it on, and then put it in. So it looks like we're right at 72. I think we started off at 71, so it doesn't look like it's really changed. So as far as the, any kind of plastic leaching out of there, uh, perhaps that's a good sign. So again, this is just kind of approximation, but that's a 72 parts per million. I think our original reading was 71. So it looks like it's pretty consistent, which is good. All right, cheers. Yeah, it just tastes like water. It comes out of the faucet. So, and this has been sitting for four to one days. So taste-wise, good. All right, I noticed that this was a little loose when I was uh, just testing that now. So let's uh, reconnect it and see if that helps fix the problem. I mean, I'm definitely seeing the water come in there. In the instructions, uh, you'll see in uh, step seven over here, I'm not sure if you can actually see that, let me see. Uh, it describes that you want to have the pitcher of water, or the glass of water, uh, below water level. Uh, but if your water level is all really low, I'm not really sure how you would do that. Uh, You'd have to go under the water here. So I guess that's only really applicable if the tub's completely filled as shown in the picture over here. But if it goes uh, below water level already, I mean, it's, I guess if you put it way down there like that, perhaps that works. But let's try. Yeah, it definitely pumps. It's just, I just feel it leaks a little bit. All right, here's a closer look at those instructions. Now, again, we're over at step seven where they say they want you to have it below water level. Although I think that's a little difficult if the bag's halfway, uh, halfway filled. All right, so after 41 days of testing, I think they make a fairly reasonable assessment on the quality of the water bob. Again, this is for emergency purposes only. I think it'd be better to store water long-term using other methods like five gallon water jugs, 55 gallon water drums, uh, soda bottles, anything that you can. I think they'd be a, a lot more protected, especially from punctures than a, a plastic bag. But uh, this is a, also a, a method that you can include either perhaps would be very easy to do. We're talking 20, 25 bucks, put it under the sink in the bathroom and kind of forget about it. And if you really needed some extra water, you could do that. Although uh, keep in mind that again, we're talking about a plastic bag that could get punctured. I imagine that's probably what happened with this, whether a cat jumped on it or uh, who knows, but I'm definitely seeing some water leaking through it. So whatever that starting level of water is, uh, I probably wouldn't trust it to stay at that level for an extended period of time. Uh, but most emergencies are probably going to be, uh, we're talking a 72 hour range, maybe a week. Uh, this one was 41 days. Uh, as far as the BPA free claim on it, I think that's probably uh, fairly accurate, especially when doing the water conductivity test. We didn't see it spike from 71 to 100, 150 or anything like that. And so the water I imagine is just gonna be the same uh, as far as how it came out of the tap water to what it is today, 41 days later. 
Uh, regarding the pump, uh, it's it's kind of a cheap pump, I think. Uh, yeah, I was, it, it works and it would fill up your glasses, uh, but it, you are gonna have some water kind of uh, leaking out of that, which isn't that big of a deal, uh, but it's maybe it'd be better to invest in a higher quality water pump for this. Uh, but functionality wise, it does work. And then uh, regarding how you fill it up, I do wish that you kind of have this like, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, like an artificial insemination of the water pop that you're using with the faucet there. I, I really, I kind of wish that it was a, uh, some kind of different design or at least had some way of uh, mounting it inside of the water faucet like that. And then you could just leave and do other things. So if there's an emergency happening, I don't want to just be sitting here holding this thing while I could be doing other things. I wish I could just set it up, forget about it and have it go in there and trust that it's actually going to work. Uh, so they don't include even a rubber band or something like that. Uh, but I think that probably they could improve the design of this. So it uh, works a little bit better in that way. Uh, but it does work. Um, uh, with regard to the, if you're holding it there. So, and uh, again, the, the water bag, uh, we saw that it kind of was leaching water on the sides there. I'm gonna investigate that further to find out where that happened at, whether it's a puncture or just a slow bleed of it. Uh, but all in all, I think this would probably be a good uh, backup or backup to the backup method, but I would probably go uh, with the, the more uh, tried and true uh, water storage methods of having them in, in water drums, water jugs, and that, and just using the water bob as maybe a backup to a backup. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video featuring the water bob. Special thanks to Tactical Temptress for letting her use her, her bathroom for 41 days. My pleasure. <laughs> Leave your comments below in the comment section uh, regarding your thoughts on the water bob and the testing shown in this video. See you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. You want to try it? Try it. it it's toilet water. <laughs> try it. No party penis. I'm no, just kidding. I totally just tried it. <laughs>